We now take you live to Klandathu, where the invasion has begun. Big K, as cap troopers like to call it, is an ugly planet. A bug planet. A planet hostile to life as we know it. To assure the safety of human civilization, the arachnid homeworld must be eliminated. As they touch down on Big K, each trooper, vigorously trained for battle, knows exactly what to do. It appears the arachnids have realized what's coming for them. Their warriors are already bearing down on the drop zones in large quantities. Through blood, sweat, and determination, the drop zone has been secured. Roger that. Meanwhile, gargantuan plasma bugs are harassing our fleet as they launch enormous globs of plasma into orbit. But the MI comes prepared and equipped to deal with this predicament. Rocket troopers will swiftly nuke it out of existence. Standing by. Move out. Rocket troopers unleash their deadly payload. The bug has no answer to superior human firepower. With the plasma bugs destroyed, the mobile infantry regroups for the next stage of the operation. Troopers, listen Roger up! That. Sir. With me! Troopers, listen up! Affirmative! Yes, sir. With me! Affirmative! Roger that! Yes, sir! Affirmative! Yes, sir! A well-ordered battle line has been formed, ready for the next phase of the invasion. The objective, a large bug hive to the east. Terran command wants it exterminated. As they advance upon this target, our troopers will wipe out any remaining arachnid defenses. Big K 
Kay is spewing out seamlessly endless hordes of arachnids against the brave men and women of the mobile infantry. Fleet officials admit they may have underestimated the bug's defensive capabilities. Dropships have been sent in for a complete evacuation as a strategic retreat appears necessary to reevaluate the situation. Reports have come in of severe arachnid counterattacks all across the planet. As the fleet is getting hammered by more plasma bugs, casualty predictions already mount in the tens of thousands. It appears the Battle of Klendothu is over. Stay tuned to FedNet for more news on the situation.